In York, Pennsylvania, IBEW organizer Steve Selby faced a daunting challenge. He single-handedly needed to reach more than 300 workers at this 24-hour cable TV call center. One guy trying to reach out to so many people was, was, was tough. But after hearing about social media at an IBEW conference last spring, Selby did something he'd only done a few times before. He went online. I was intimidated by just computers in general. I started, you know, coming in here as an organizer. I had never even typed a Word document. But he taught himself to use the popular site MySpace.com, creating a page where the cable workers could learn about the union with just a few mouse clicks. Instead of trying to put all kinds of information on multiple different flyers like you usually see in a traditional organizing campaign and stand outside and hand it to them, if I made one flyer, handed that out and got people to go to this address where they could get all the other information, you're getting a lot more done. And more and more local unions are finding out how social media can work for them. Senator Murkowski, that is not fair for Alaskans. In Alaska's Denali National Park, local 1547 produced this YouTube video asking for political support during a labor dispute. In Northern California, local 595 is twittering its members about important issues like the Employee Free Choice Act. And in Montana, local 233 is gathering fans of its page on Facebook and passing on important information about health care. And I believe that you have to use every single tool out there to organize. International IT director Darren DeMarco says social media can be the perfect companion to traditional organizing. It helps reach more people in less time and with a lower cost than ever before. Now we have these tools out there that the end user can very easily set up their own website, set up a Facebook page, reach out to friends, start a conversation with people that they couldn't before. We're out here this afternoon uh, in front of your facility. Back in York, Local 229 is putting a human face on its campaign at the Cable Call Center. They're using a basic home video camera and YouTube to spread the union's message. And what we're trying to do, and it has been effective, I think, is putting a face with the name and letting them know that, listen, we're York County residents, born and raised, and, you know, the IBW has been a great thing for us, and this is why it would be a great thing for you. There's not enough organizers in the field to cover the amount of unrepresented people in our industry that are out there. We have a tool now that we can use that you can sit at and you can communicate with them better in some instances than talking with them first off and get them more information with just a couple clicks of the mouse.